Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today for a wonderful YouTube hop with my scrappy friends called Honey, I Shrunk the Layout, where we are going to give you inspiration on changing the size of your layout, whether it be making a traveler's notebook, an 8x8 um, page, an 8.5 by 11 page, or in my case, I'm shrinking part of my 12 by 12 layout. I'm actually going to scrap an 8 by 8 layout and then put it onto a 12 by 12 paper when I'm done. For this project, I'm using everything that came from the Schmel um, project pad for Glitter Girl. And I thought that all the colors and the feel of that paper pad really lent to the whole theme. Now, our inspiration hop was. Um, inspired by the movie Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which came out when my daughter was younger and probably in the 1990s. And so I thought these pictures of my daughter with her little pink scrunchie in her hair and she's wearing a shirt that's got the rainbow bear with the headband and all these bright fuchsia pink, blue and yellow colors, it all went together and really brought out the feel that I wanted from the 1990s. So um, I did gut my glitter paper that I'm matting my um, pink paper on. The, the background is at 8 eight by 8 and then the pink paper 7.5 by 7.5. And, and then I did punch out these florals from the inside of the paper that I used for matting the picture. I don't end up using them, but it's just to show you that you can really stretch a piece of paper far by gutting it and then punching out in areas that won't be seen once your layout's complete. So I'm going to go ahead and mat these two 4x6 photos onto this background. And so it's very tight because this is only an 8x8 background and these are full size fit photos. So I did overlap them and I could have gotten away with only using the one where she had the really pretty smile. But the other one was really cute because it showed her with that little squinty Popeye smile that most kids when they're around three years old have. And so it's kind of sweet and so I didn't want to get rid of that photo. Now the embellishments that I'm using, again, pretty much came from the paper pad. I did fussy cut out some of the items and then I used stickers from the sticker sheet. Now the sticker sheet in that project pad are a little bit thin, so I did put them all onto white cardstock and fussy cut those out as well off camera, just so that they were a little bit more substantial than the stickers were in the pad. And now I'm just going through and just trying to make my clusters going around and making the pictures be the center point and clustering in layers around the pictures. And the other thing I'm trying to do is, even though I know I'm matting this onto a 12 by 12 piece of paper, I'm trying to keep it all contained to the 8 by 8 size. Now a couple of the items do go off the edge, but I look at that as being, if I was scrapping normally, I would have some things going off the edge anyways. So I gave myself leeway for a few things, but primarily everything is being stuck within the small layout in the 8x8 size. So if you were doing an 8x8 album as a gift or something, it's just a, a great way that you can see you can use full-size pictures for them. You don't have to do special software or make things um, smaller. You can actually use full-size photos. You just kind of have to manipulate and layer. And I like that tight look that it has. So now I'm just kind of building everything up. Now this butterfly did come from Chamel's uh, Never Grow Up collection. I think that and a bow and the enamel hearts that I'm going to put on are the only things that weren't from the Glitter Girl project pad. And so I'm just getting this last little bird up. And now I'm going to grab out, um, oh I do grab her um, Chamel sticker book and I do add a few things from there as well. And I'm just going to flip through. But I think a lot of these were even from her, you know, um, Glitter Girl inspired items as well. So it kind of has that whole Glitter Girl theme. Um, the colors are wonderful. So I'm just grabbing these stars. And I'm going to tuck those around, one in each of the clusters. 
And then I do find some phrase stickers. One that says, Be Fearless. Another one says, Shine Bright. And then, uh, So Beautiful. And then one that says, Glitter Girl. And I'm going to put those around. In addition, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, the um, enamel hearts in each of the corners. And then I also grab some of these little dots in there as well. And I'm just, I'm just filling things up and layering things in. So while I'm doing that, let me just remind you that down in the description box below is going to be the links for everyone who's playing along, whether they're playing on YouTube or Instagram. So please make sure you check them out. And again, you can shrink your item any way you want. It could be shrinking the pictures. It could be shrinking the layout from size. Um, it could, you know, anything that you want to shrink is basically the motivation for today. And I really like how this is turning out. Again, you're just concentrating everything to the smaller layout. And then I'm going to put it on a busier piece of paper. So if you have one of those papers that you really love, but you're not really sure how it's going to be, by putting this on its own layout, and, and I'm able to then um, contain the layout so it doesn't feel like it's being lost on this paper. And then I do tilt it a little bit to give it a little bit of a whimsy and wonky look. And that's it for my layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And for everyone who has subscribed to my channel, I really do appreciate it. If you could give me a thumbs up to let others know that um, you liked my video. And again, if you're not a subscriber, if you hit the subscribe button, I would love to have you as a follower. Make sure you check everybody out who's hopping along today, and you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for stopping by.